Hold on. Okay. See if you guys can see me in my reflection. Can you see me? 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 That's okay though. I'm, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. Okay. Hey, you guys. All right. So today I wanted to talk about learning how to test the spirits. Okay. Um, learning to test the spirit is, it's not easy, I would say, um, but it is something that you can learn to do quite easily because testing the spirit means um, to make sure that people that you're communicating with, um, make sure the people that you're uh, depending on for opinions in different situations, you're, the people you're surrounding yourself with are actually um, people of God. Okay, now testing the spirit, you are um, taking the information that you get from someone, what they're telling you and wanting you to believe um, to be true information. That is taking that information back to the Bible and confirming what they are saying with the Bible. Okay, uh, you have to know your Bible, number one. Okay, uh, you're not always going to be in a situation where you will be able to discern quickly, you know, what someone is saying unless you actually know your Bible. You can always pull up your Bible app or wait until you get home for this information. You have to take a mental note though <laughs> or record or write it down so that you can, you know, uh, disseminate the information properly so that you don't get a misunderstanding you think you heard what they said and then you take it back and then you know you go back to them and say hey wait a minute and they say well that's not what i said <laughs> so you have to have accurate information so that requires you to write it down um or record it okay so that you can take it back to the bible if you need to do it later and make sure that what they say and actually does line up with the word okay um now, the Bible is sufficient, okay? Don't get me wrong. But um, we do want to, because it is thousands of years later, um, we want to use other tools to put along with the Bible, okay? Like, we're in the information age. Uh, you can use Google. You can use YouTube, okay? These are um, pieces of information that you there is pieces of uh, information that you can get from these different sources these are sources i want to say um, that you can use along with the bible that can help you determine whether um, this person is actually a person of god now i can tell you one thing right now from the bible that can help you um, a scripture that you want to remember um, and basically, bottom line, it says that anyone who claims that Jesus Christ is the Son of God is from God, okay? And I would be careful with, with that because people can claim that and then claim other things. And you still find that they're not actually, you know, <laughs> a, a, a Christian or a believer, okay? Um but any spirit that claims that Jesus Christ is not the son of God, then they are not of God, okay? So that scripture by itself can give you a foundation or a basis to know if this person is actually truly a woman or a man of God, okay? That is number one. So use um, the um, information sources that we have today along with the Bible. You must know your Bible okay so that's two ways and three is just to know um the fruits of the spirit versus the works of the flesh okay so the fruits of the spirit are listed in the bible you can put it in google um and it'll actually give you the fruits of the spirit as well you want to know the fruits of the spirit okay um, knowing the fruits of the spirit versus the works of the flesh is another way, okay, that you can determine um, whether someone is uh, a true Christian or a true believer or from God, okay? 
Um, now these three ways, knowing the fruits of the spirit, okay? Taking it back to the Bible and knowing your Bible, okay? And using different um, information sources or paths to help you um, determine, you know, whether these people are actually from God. These ways are the different ways that you can also know if you are actually hearing from the Holy Spirit, okay? Now, if you are getting some information and you think that you are hearing from the Holy Spirit, but you're not sure, <laughs> okay, uh, you can also do these things and um, refer back to these things in order to know if you are actually hearing from the Holy Spirit when you're getting information or thoughts um, in your personal time, in that quiet space, that, you know, Bible study that you're having or that um, just quiet time, that prayer time that you are having, okay? If you are wondering if the information that you're getting is actually coming from a demonic source, which it shouldn't be because you shouldn't have any of that demonic stuff in your house, um, in your mind, okay? Garbage in, garbage out, all right? Um, or in your living space. So you shouldn't be hearing from a demonic source, but <laughs> if you think that um, you're not sure, okay, those those three uh, references or sources that we just spoke of, um, I shouldn't have to mention them again, but I'm gonna mention them again, the Bible, okay? Um, the information sources such as YouTube, do your research, you know, uh, Google, you know, and also, um, what was the third? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I mentioned them enough, <laughs> okay? Um, those different sources, you will know whether or not you are hearing from the Holy Spirit, okay? Now, the Holy Spirit, let's talk for a second about what the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is actually the soul or spirit of Yeshua, okay? Jesus died so that he can leave us with the Holy Spirit, okay? The reason why God came, and this is the Holy Spirit, this is the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? That is the Holy Trinity. Tree means three, okay? In case you didn't know. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, all right? Um, the Old Testament is before Jesus came, and the New Testament is after Jesus came, okay? Believe it or not, guys, there was once upon a time when forgiveness and Jesus was not in this world. I know, right? Mind-blowing. <laughs> You know, it's something that we don't think about, but it's the truth. Um, forgiveness was not always here. In the Old Testament, when you read about the Bible, there was no forgiveness the way it was in the New Testament. And in case you don't know, that is what the Bible is. The Old Testament, the first half of the Bible, was before Jesus came, okay? The New Testament, the second half of the Bible, is after Jesus came, after the Holy Spirit was in this earth, okay? The Holy Spirit was not always here. That is the point that I was making when I first started talking. <laughs> um, the Holy Spirit was not always here, guys. We did not always have forgiveness from the Holy Spirit. Um, that, when I realized that, when God gave me that revelation, was mind-blowing to me. Like, I, for some reason, always thought that we, I don't know why or how I knew the differences between the Bible and, you know, the first and second portions of the Bible. But when I got that revelation, it was really, truly a revelation to me. I did not realize that the Holy Spirit was not always here. So the Holy Spirit is Yeshua, Jesus's um, spirit. It's his soul. Okay, and the reason, one of the reasons he came, the main reason he came was to leave us with the Holy Spirit so that we would have a helper to help us. I have bad allergies, guys. <laughs> to help us and to guide us um, in learning the things that we need to learn as people of God. 
okay? So that is the reason the Holy Spirit is here. And it's really sad that we don't utilize the Holy Spirit the way that we need to. What we would choose to do, unfortunately, when we have the Holy Spirit here, we don't have to do that, is we choose to be misled by these prosperity preachers, these Creflo Dollars, these Joyce Myers, these all of these other human beings that cannot lead us the way the Holy Spirit can lead us, okay? We got to stop that. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. And it is the reason why so many of us are misled, okay? These preachers are stealing people's money. They are having adulterous affairs. They are idolizing other people. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, when Jesus Christ came and he died, he went through torture for us so that he can leave us with the helper, which is, by the way, the same name that a female, the woman, was given to the man as a helpmeet, the helper, okay? Um, not comparing the Holy Spirit to women. I'm just saying what we, we share a role okay, as helping, okay, we are helpers, we are not supposed to be um, head of households, and bosses, and this and that, and these boss bees, and all that, that's, this is not our role, let our men play the roles that they're supposed to play, okay, now, I'm not saying that, um, you know, women can't do that, of course, of course, we can do this, but not in our households, we need to know our roles in our households, I know I've touched on a lot of things, and I'm, I'm sorry, um, and I'm gonna back off of that for now, because I don't want to give the wrong impression about that, um, but I do want to say that you know, we have to understand, number one, why the Holy Spirit came, what the Holy Spirit is, number two, how to hear from the Holy Spirit, number three, okay, how to test the Spirit, okay? We need to understand that the Spirit world exists, and we need to learn how to fight against the demonic forces in the spiritual world, okay? Because the demonic forces that work in this world today can only be fought in the spiritual world, okay? And our weapons of spiritual warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty, okay? But they can only be that if you know how to use them, okay? It means nothing. If I'm blind and I have these glasses right here, but I don't know what they are or how to use them, I can't put them on and read anything. They will do me no good. <laughs> I have to know what these are, number one. I have to know what they're used for. And then I actually have to use them in order for them to work, okay? You know, we, we need to understand what the Holy Spirit is why the Holy Spirit is here, how to use the Holy Spirit, and then we need to put it in action, okay? And we need to do it. Jesus went through a lot. Our Savior went through a lot to get us back to our Heavenly Father, to help us as the helper to live good lives on this earth, I mean, he went through torture to leave us with the Holy Spirit, literally. The least we can do to save ourselves, not to save him, but to save ourselves is that. All right? All right. I love you guys. See you later. Mwah. See you on my next video. Bye.
I'm not going anywhere So I, so I won't leave Cause you put your mouth on me <laughs> Bye y'all I never really liked the way you dressed I guess I thought you sound